Monday as we take a live look over Independence Boulevard on a cloudy start to your week. It's just a tough, a little bit cooler outside compared to last week, but we're also tracking some possible storms this afternoon. Let's go ahead and get right over to Chief Meteorologist Tara Lane. We've been talking about storms for weeks now, but uh, they're going to ramp up a little bit this week. Yeah, and of course the storms off and on over the past few weeks have dumped a whole lot of rain too, and now we have this tropical system thrown into the mix and more of those tropical downpours ahead for pretty much the entirety of this week here. Right on into Friday, we're going to be continuing to talk about it. And starting with, of course, today we have some of those spotty tropical downpours kind of scattered around here. Haven't really picked up much lightning, just good old fashioned rain here, but heavy. Certainly at times you have a couple of those moving across northern suburbs around Huntersville in between there and Cornelius and a lot more scattered around that southern part of Gaston County there south of uh, say that stretch of I-85 southern half of the county and then a few more just isolated showers off to the east Rossing a little heavy shower a little bit ago but the widespread swath of rain that we're tracking is still pretty far away at this point off to the south but later on tonight and while we're sleeping and waking up early tomorrow morning some of you will be hearing or seeing that rain outside all all due to, of course, what is now Tropical Storm Debbie meandering through North Florida, heading into southern Georgia in this four o'clock hour. And we have got not only the spotty showers, but of course the outer edge of those hyphen cirrus clouds and those puffy cumulus clouds coming in out ahead of that system. But temperatures are still having the chance to warm up close to 90 degrees. It's so muggy out there with those dew points hovering around 70. We've got a rain cold 79 in Shelby, those upper 70s up in the mountains and still in the mid to upper 80s off to the east. So let's talk about Debbie and yes, everyone wants to know. We all want to know what is this thing going to do? Still expecting that slow crawl over the next several days here. Notice the movement off to the uh, north and east and it could head off if it stays on this forecast track. Again, as we always say, this is still subject to change, but heading off the coast of Georgia, South Carolina by the middle of the week and then it's expected to take more of that turn to the north Thursday into Friday with another landfall and heading in toward the central and eastern part of the state still with some gusty wind and storm surge flooding along the coast. So for us here locally tomorrow, we are going to be looking at areas of rain and storms. The wind's not terrible just yet, 84 degrees, so just a little bit cooler with that rain coming in. Let's check out future radar through about 8 o'clock this evening. Just a couple of spotty isolated showers, kind of like what we're seeing out there right now. We'll continue to see some of those trickling in, but once we move past 7 o'clock especially, we get the rain getting heavier, moving in from the south and east, but notice how it's mainly focused from say the ID5 corridor south and east east along highway 74 a little closer to the actual center of Debbie and then we'll see a tapering off likely in the rain going into Wednesday morning so it's not going to be raining all day everywhere all the time we still get some breaks but by the end of the day on Wednesday we'll expect to see another heavier swath perhaps moving in from the east so waiting for this National Weather Service has already issued that flood watch for Richmond County only but we'll likely see that being expanded to a few more counties and that's all the way through Friday because right through Thursday and Friday we are still going to be looking at that flash flood risk where you see the yellow and especially the red again more south and east of Charlotte with some of those higher rainfall totals expected. This is just a look at one computer model here and looking at the forecast how much rain we could receive but in those areas about two to four inches but isolated higher totals are certainly possible and then you can see how those totals dramatically drop off up in the mountains and foothills but again that is subject to change. So any little shift in the track could push more of that heavy rain and maybe more of that gusty wind toward you all in the mountains and foothills. So that's why we always say keep checking in with us for those updates and then forecast wind gusts. Notice by the end of the day tomorrow going into the afternoon, we get those wind gusts picking up around 20 25 miles per hour. They'll likely increase a little more up around the 30 to 35 mile per hour range before tapering off by Friday. But Thursday looks to be kind of the more gusty gusty day when it comes to the wind with some of those 30 35 mile per hour wind gusts, which could topple some trees because the ground will continue to be so saturated out there. All this being said, keeping temperatures down low to mid 80s and then we'll start to get drier heading through the weekend.